Here's a crazy interesting post you may have forgotten about. Throughout 1885, the New York Post, then called the Evening Post, reported how Austin, Texas was being plagued by a wave of murders at the hands of one of our nation's first serial killers. Here's what happened. On December 30th, 1884, the killer that American author O. Henry would one day christen the Servant Girl Annihilator is believed to have claimed his first victim. That victim, Molly Smith, was dragged out of her employer's home and killed by an axe wound to the head. Several arrests were made, but authorities couldn't successfully pin the murders on any one of the people they picked up. And to everyone's dismay, attacks and killings fitting the profile continued throughout the year. While the 19th century police always found brutal crime scenes, the only evidence they were left to work with were a pair of bloody footprints. This led to several arrests based solely on people walking around Austin barefoot. Extra officers were called in from around the state, and Austin effectively fell under martial law. After six more murders, eight other axe and knife attacks, and the arrest of over 400 suspects, the final two murders attributed to the Servant Girl Annihilator both occurred on Christmas Eve, 1885. Following those murders, the pattern never repeated and the case remains unsolved to this day. Though, in a 2014 episode of PBS's History Detectives, it's claimed that a man named Nathan Elgin, whose club foot often prevented him from wearing shoes, was found with a large knife assaulting a young woman and then shot and killed by police in early February 1886. So, it's altogether possible that, without knowing it, authorities did get to serve up some Texas-style justice. So there it is. Throughout 1885, an axe-wielding serial killer stalked the streets of Austin and may, or may not, have been killed in a hail of gunfire. How's that for a crazy interesting post?